Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's Big John here, the at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is my SoundCloud link and so is all of the links to any of the indicators that I am using. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today guys and girls, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the TDI on a 15 minute chart to spot second legs of M's or W's. I know a lot of people are having difficulties trying to spot it, but I hope this gives you a little bit more of an understanding. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, nothing is for sure in Forex but hopefully this gives you a better understanding. So let's head over straight to the charts. So as you can see on my charts here, what I've got is I've got my session range boxes, I've got Pip Hunter baseline overlay, which is these stars and the chop filter and some other things on here as well. I will attach the wave video to this as well so you can see the wave strategy as well again. What I've got down here is I've got the trend scale, I've got the momentum extreme, and I've got a TDI here, which I explained in my last video down here as well. So we'll go into the TDI straight away. So the TDI, what we're looking for here is we have key zones. We have a overbought zone here, we have a bullish zone, here we have a 50 trend divider here we have a bearish zone here and we have an oversold zone here so between 50 here and here this is a bullish zone the bullish zone starts from here above 50 then it starts from here that would be stronger the bullish zone and vice versa for the bearish zone so if you look here 50s here and coming down to here it gets a bit more bearish than here, it's very bearish. So the bearish zone starts from here, down here, the bullish zone starts from here, up here. Now what we're looking for is this strategy here, what they call the shark out of the water. The shark out of the water, as you can see here, a perfect explanation here is like a shark fin. So price has been pulled out of the Bollinger Bands. That's what the blue lines are here and the yellow line in the middle. So price has pulled itself out of the water here and what we're looking for is we're looking for price to pull back through the yellow middle line here and then come back on the other side again down for a move it's going to be an m and vice versa for a w so reason why i'm saying this like this i'm going to show you the charts price charts in a second and you'll know that this would be an m not a w so look here asian session why i don't trade asian session i'm waiting for the trade to come to me price has pulled itself out of the tdi right here then what price has done is as Asian session is forming, you can see price was dropping, 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 dropping. Then what price actually did, price pulled back here in London session. Now this was a fake out here because guess what? See price never crossed back through here. Never did this, never crossed here. I didn't want to take this trade. My actual trade on this 15 minute chart was once it crossed here, and then once it was going back down. So I could see that at New York session, something was happening. Now what gave me even better indication is my session boxes told me it bounced off. That's what this white line is. It bounced off the Asian session middle range. So it never broke it, never broke the Asian session high here, which is at the top as well. And plus it's at the top of the FIB. FIB levels are over here, just so you can see. So it was at the top of a fib. So I'm only looking for a sell. I'm not looking for a buy if it's at the top of a fib. So what happens here is as New York session forms, I've already had my TDI crossover just under the bullish zone. So it's still kind of strong. That's why you, it went down a bit and then you had a bit of pullback. Yeah. But here you can even see again for you, it even crossed over again here. And it crossed over at the exact time trend scout and momentum extreme even got in. So personally, I would have got in here and caught these pips going down here. Now that's GBP USD. I'm only going to be showing GBP pairs in this, but it does work with every other pair as well. And it works with indices and things like that. It even works with oil. It works with all of these things. It just is just for you to spot the M's and the W's because that's how the chart moves. But I'm just showing you GBP pairs because I personally like them. Not because it only works with this and it's a secret method. Don't no, it's, I just prefer the strategy with this. So anyway, now, as you can see again, the shark out of the water here at the beginning of Asian range. You see Asian range is telling me what's happening. It's like a Carbian call, the engine, and it's building up to tell me what's happening. So shark out of the water here. Then I'm looking for my pullback. I can see my pullback happened here. It crossed through. Look here, crossed through. Then it crossed back up. Look here, you can see the first cross was here. You can see it crossed back over here, but I don't want this move here because when it crossed over here, this was still Asian session. You can see that. So now it pulled back again. I didn't have no trend or momentum either. Then it pulled back here. And then now I can see that, look, it was coming down. I had this indication to say, okay, we're ready for a move. This was a serious candle. And then I would have got in on this candle here. If I got in on this candle right here, that pulled back against me about six pips, not 10 pips or 15 pips if I put my stop loss. All you need is 10 to 15, 20 pips max, but 10 pips is good. And then here, this dropped down 38 pips. That was my London move. As you can see from this indicator here, look, it went down. That was an M shape that formed there. Cool. Now, this was not my trade here. Look what happened here. I actually told people this was funny. Look, it went up. 
But look at this. This is how price faked people out to them. People were thinking the market was inconsistent. It shot all the way back down before it went up because it wasn't your move. Your secondary move was actually here. Look how New York session popped up. You had shark out of the water here, even though it was very small. But what did price do? Pulled back through the yellow line again. Then when it pulled back through the yellow line, this was just a W. It was a five minute W, not a 15 minute W, by the way. And then when it pulled back through the line, you said, okay, now, now what I'm waiting to see, once again, price is at the top of a fib. But you do not want to be taking a buy when it's at the top. Look where price was here. So you're not looking for a, a buy here. You're not looking for a second leg of a W here. Look where it is. It's too high in a fib. You never buy high. You never sell low. Yeah. So here we can see that clear indication. It's crossed back through here. We see the yellow line has been crossed. Then what happens right here? Look here. You see here, crossover again. The same thing happened like it did in the morning. Here, we wouldn't have got in here. Could have got in here. But personally, I would have got in here from when I saw this one getting weaker. Once again, we're at the top of the fib. We had a crossover here. I would have said, that's good enough for me. Something's got to be happening. Could have got all of these pips here. That's about 60 pips. Or even if you got in there, you still could have got about 40 pips. Again here, let's watch perfectly. Look, see, Asian session, not lying to you. Again here, so if you wanted to catch a, a London session move, we only want to catch a move either in London or a move in New York. That is it. That is as simple as it has to be. Just two moves, 10 pips a day. Sometimes you can get 20 if you get two, like the previous pair I showed you. Look here, shark came out of the water, pulled back, went through the yellow line here. It wasn't the most obvious line here. It came through here, right here. Look, the yellow line, you can set alerts on this. I'll show you on the settings video that I'll put in the agent room pinned in the Pip Hunter Discord room. It will be there. So it pulled back through again, look here, and then you had your moves telling you it was coming in here. Even Pip, look, when Pip Hunter told you to get in, so now we're even in the blue box as well. Pip Hunter told you to pretty much get in from here, so you could have got in from here or here. I personally would have got in from here because I could see that the TDI has crossed over. This is why I use the TDI with my setup and the wave strategy. Once again, I'll pin the wave strategy here so you can see it. I would have personally got in from here, yeah, because I got my trend, I got my momentum. And then next, if you got in here on a safer entry, it would have been right here. And then look how many pips this was. How many pips was that? That was 68 pips for a buy. There you go. That was your trade in that pair. GBP CAD. Now, this is a good one because what you see here is a W in a big M. That's what's happening here. And I'll tell you how that happens. So this is why a lot of the time you should zoom out of your chart. You don't have to zoom into your chart and be trying to look for the move here. Zoom out if you need to. Shark out of the water here from the previous day. Yeah, if you was on a 30 minute time frame or maybe an hour, you would see this better because it's never going to be perfect for you. It can't be just perfect because if it was this easy, everybody would trade. Once again, here, shark out of the water here hasn't pulled back yet. Look, see, even in Asian range, didn't pull back. Then what it did is it pulled back here. Yeah, and it came down here. Now, personally, me, I would have gotten from the top paying attention to that. I called this trade out in the group today. I'm not a signal group, but if I see a trade that's good enough, I'll call it out and try and help people in the group make some type of money as well. Once there's space between these two lines, this line and this line, you're waiting for it to cross back over. If there's space between them, look how much space is there. It didn't cross back over, so this was a good move for you. So you could have just held this move. But if you got in with the trend scout and got in with Momentum Extreme, your entry candle would have been here and you still would have got all of these pips going down, 70 pips in an hour and 45 minutes. GBP New Zealand, same thing, look here. Shark out of the water, what did it do? Pulled back here and then goes up, look. See your trend moment, look. 100 pips going up, same thing. This is how you see it. Pay attention. What you're looking for is the shark out of the water. If you don't see the shark out of the water in Asian range, don't trade it. If not, if you're a bit skeptical, zoom out a little bit if you have to. But if you don't see it here, just don't, you don't have to trade it. Again, and you would have caught all of those pips. Euro GBP. Now, same thing happened here. This was two trades here as well. Look, you've got this shark out of the water in Asian session at the top. Yep. Then it went down. Then it pulled back. Then London session came in. Look here. I'm not even looking at the charts. I'm looking at this. And then you had a move here. Now, you could have got in this move about here if you wanted to be safe. And you could have got these pips down here, going down here. And this was about, what, 15 pips? If you wanted a bit of an earlier entry, once you start becoming really good at this, look your entry candle. Look where your entry candle was with the TDI. You can see that price was getting weaker here. You could have got in about here. Could have got in here. And if you saw that, it was a clear, clear M. You can see here. Let me turn off this if, if it's a bit difficult for you. Sometimes you just press this button up here and you can turn off your candles. You can see your M's and W's, just click this. And then look, it goes up there, comes down, and then you know, okay, yeah, and it's done the pullback as well. Okay, yeah, trend momentum's getting weak. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this one. You know, you gotta be brave when it comes to trading. You've got to have no fear, only power. 
No weakness. So to sum this up, guys and girls, what you're looking for is price to give a clear defined pullback through here and then going through something like this. You see here, it went through the yellow line and then you're looking for this and then you want your pip hunter trend scout and momentum to kick in at the same time. Something like that or to at least weaken, I would say. So that's for a more skilled trader, but that is what you're looking for. And once price crosses back through, you want there to be space between the white line and the red line. And you want it to come through. This was your indication to possibly get out. But if Pip Hunter telling you to stay in, you could have stayed in here. Or you possibly got in from here as well. And there you go. So if there's any other questions, please put them in the comments below. I will be dropping some other videos as well. I'm trying to get onto the indices video. But I need to put these factors out before I put the indices video there. Because I want people to understand the indicators I'm actually using. So when I'm explaining them they can get what's actually happening. Um, if there's any questions you have, please put them in the comments below. And um, if you want to get a hold of me or want to get a hold of the Pip Hunter system, all of the stuff and the information will be in the description below. And there will also be a pinned comment with all of the stuff in there as well, telling you and explaining to you where you can get the stuff. With that said, peace.